Public health officials say they are alarmed at the growing number of cases of measles and whooping cough. They blame parents who are now refusing to immunize their kids. And it's happening mostly in wealthy communities. Carter Evans has a case in point. By his own admission, Dr. Bob Sears may be the only pediatrician in Southern California who does not advocate child vaccination. What percentage of your patients would you say choose not to get their children vaccinated in some form? I would say about half of my patients are not vaccinating. It's a growing trend, especially in affluent communities like Santa Monica and Malibu, where nearly 15% of kindergartners are not immunized. In the Orange County community where Dr. Sears practices, almost 10% of kindergartners were not vaccinated. The Centers for Disease Control says public health is compromised when more than 8% of students are not immunized. Do you feel like you may be part of the problem? Fortunately, you know, my patients are scattered all over Orange County in Southern California. I completely disagree. Dr. Margaret Van Blurk is also a pediatrician in Orange County. The research shows that if we don't vaccinate children, they're more likely to get sick and they'll, you know, potentially get diseases that can kill them. Highly contagious diseases like measles are on the rise. California has seen 61 cases so far this year, the highest in two decades. 22 of those are in Orange County. Bye. When Brooke Olson last came to Dr. Van Blurk's office. There was a sign on the door saying there's an outbreak of measles. What did you think when you saw that sign on your doctor's door? It freaked me out in Orange County. I tell the parents that... Um, you don't necessarily have to live in fear of these diseases. You have to respect the diseases. You have to understand them. But they're fairly unlikely to happen to any individual child. Dr. Sears says he's not anti-vaccine, but people need to know about the risks. Parents don't want their baby to have a bad side effect. They don't want to be a victim of a very severe vaccine reaction. If you don't vaccinate your child, or if you're waiting to think about it, then you're taking a risk. You're putting their life at risk, potentially. You're gambling. You are. You're gambling. Yeah. And usually at gambling, you lose. Carter Evans, CBS News, Orange County. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Native Honey. They are really pushing this vaccine agenda. All of a sudden, everybody is dying from not getting the flu shot. Now you can die if you don't get the flu shot. Your child could die. I mean, really? And did the um, 2019 Globe, Golden Globes actually give out flu shots? You have to remember that. Remember, celebrities are the dumbest people out there. They literally have to be forced to do what's told. Also, keep in mind that none of these celebrities are against any of this garbage that they push on us. They have to push the agenda. They have no choice. Anyways, so more propaganda, more lies every day. It's just, uh, it's unbelievable. There's nothing free out there, okay? You're an idiot to think th that there is. There's always a catch. Our children are under chemical attack by forced vaccinations. Did you know that on the vac <clears throat> vaccine labels, it says that these vaccines have not been evaluated or tested for mutagenic potential, carcinogenic potential? or impairment fertility, and that's the endemification label on every chemical weapon. Plus, they want to tell us that the refusing vaccines on an, is an attack on our children's health, but yet the label, it clearly states that they're the ones attacking. If you hear any noise in the background, excuse it. I'm sorry, this is what I have to work with, but it is what it is. So, you know what? I'm so sorry. This is sad to say this, but damn it, it's true. These kids we have today are the most dumbest and sickest children ever. So, if you're one of those parents who feed your child all that junk, all those Pepsis, the luncheon meats, the Jimmy Deans, the ice cream, cereal, hot Cheetos, ramen noodles, so many more. There's so many chemicals added to everything we eat. You people need to wake up. This is unbelievable. It's wrong to not stand up for yourself. Come on, people. If you don't stand for your rights, you won't have any. Stand for something. Our kids are dumbed down. All of our children are literally on these devices. And that's the um, wireless agenda. They have so many, so many things planned for us, and it's just it's crazy. 
But my point is you need to stand up for yourself and your kids. You can't just let everything pass you by. You have to understand that there are no safe vaccinations out there. You know what does work though? Sunlight, disinfectants, good hygiene, sanitation, basically common sense. The FDA had stated that they aren't messing around when it comes to people refusing immunizations. I get that, okay? And guess what? Trump's all for it. I'm sick and tired of all this bullshit. I'm sick and tired of people just allowing all this bullshit to go on. I mean, it's people like you I hold responsible for holding back humankind. If you don't like what I said, unsubscribe. Go back to your delusion and your pathetic ways. There are so many reasons for you to stand up and say no, but you are too weak. I'm going to speak my mind always, okay? People need to wake up. This is not right. For those of you who understand what I'm saying, thank you. Subscribe and share. Thank you. Bye.